Hello everyone and welcome back to a new Microsoft Flight Simulator livestream. First Microsoft Flight Simulator livestream with my new monitor. Um, 
just causing some performance issues. I think we'll get that fixed. Let me turn the music a little lower. There we go. Alright. Is everything working? I have no clue. Let me check. Studio. Content. Live. And then the control room. Where is it? There it is. Check. Looks like everything's working. That's good. Yeah, that looks good. Seems to be working. Nice. Okay, gotta get the chat pulled up and everything. There we go. Alright, so welcome to the first floor of the menu monitor. That's why it's 21 by 9 now as well. My speakers are very loud. Today we're flying from Dusseldorf to... I just realized something. I think I've put the wrong airport on the... In the title and thumbnail, I did. I wanted to fly to Edinburgh, not Gatwick. I guess we're flying to Gatwick now. Fair enough. All right, so let's change that real quick. We're now flying to Gatwick. I don't know how I messed that one up, but fair enough. Let me pull up Simreef. Change that. That's interesting. Yeah, I did not mean to fly to get away, but we're doing it now, apparently. Go to the map, add the flight, add our Lufthansa aircraft, where is it? There we go, there it is. Very good. Just haven't, I just got a lot of messages. You can. Yeah, I'm gonna open up the control room real quick so I just feel safer using that. I don't know why. Might be stupid, but you know, I don't just feel safer with it. Hold set, there we go. We want your detection fault. Oh my gosh. We're gonna turn on at some point. I'll just be off, I guess. Mamui, welcome to the stream. Yeah, doing a lot of live streams today. More than usual, at least. Okay, let's get the flat plan set up. GPS permanent loss, I know. Some bad performance at this airport for some reason. Hopefully we'll be better at Gatwick. I forgot to download any Gatwick scenery, but we don't care about that. Okay, there we go. That's set. Come on. Yeah, that was very nice. I mean, to be fair, the second race was horrible. Because if you know, me be, uh, getting punted in the rear end and just, you know, sent flying across the whole map. But, you know, things happen. That was a really good stream. Yeah, I liked it as well. We had 34 unique viewers. MSC, welcome to the stream. Oh, we're about to take off in like 10 minutes, probably. I'm having performance issues at this airport. Okay, 2 3 left, Sonep 7. What was that? Bravo? No, Tango. Run it again. 2 3 left. There it is, Sonep 7, Tango. That in. No discontinuity, that's good. Arrival. Temperature G. Route to Golf on runway 08 right. Route to Golf. There we go. Put that in. Get the weights and cruising altitude sort of out first. 320334. 320 34. Bullet number is. Lushanza 24. 
And wait, that's what we do next. Let's go to the ground, or the math balance page for that. Get 60, 1, 0, and 31, 3. 60 and 31, 3. With fuel 6.4, or 6.3, 3, just to be safe. Also initialize the wind now. Request the wind, I guess. I just realized you guys can't see my mouse, can you? You prefer if you would be able to see the mouse, or is it just like, you know, doesn't do a difference for you guys? Would you prefer to be able to see where my mouse is? Or should it just stay hidden as it is right now? Okay, it's all set. One slash down zero two. I have a very high-pitched sound on my left ear right now. I don't know what the hell that is. I think it's not from the game or the PC. Stay in, fair enough. Okay, it's all set. Turn those on already. The cruising multi was 340 if I remember correctly. No, 320. Wait, what? 320, never mind, okay. That's very bright. Can I maybe put it to balance instead of performance? Because, you know, it would make it a lot easier to see. Yeah, it's actually taking performance. I don't know why, but since I have the new monitor, although I can put the resolution down, it still somewhat takes a lot of FPS. Under 2560 by 1440 as a resolution? No, there isn't. Prefer that right now. Fair enough then. We'll just give it on performance. We can turn that on. Six minutes left on the alignment. Six minutes? This is okay. Seems like a lot. Nick, welcome to the stream. I turned on the volume of the game, shouldn't I? Maybe the music a little louder, a tiny bit, so you guys can hear it better. There we go. Okay, five minutes left on the alignment. Um, didn't expect us to be that fast. Now the music is too loud. Let's leave it at that. Should be good. Okay, because we have a lot of time left, uh, I think I'll just do an Instagram story real quick. I don't want to do Instagram story. I'm gonna create an Instagram story real quick. Um, let me try to get a nice shot right here. Ah, oh, that looks like a good one. Very loud, to be fair. Alright, let's get this. Right. That was the story real quick. Um, my Wi-Fi is killing itself right now. Jesus. I don't know what, why the performance is that bad at this airport. I think it's just this airport specifically though. Posted. Beautiful. Got that done?
Is the game set to like a weird high priority setting because something's not going as it's done right now? Oh, it's a normal priority. Interesting. Okay, three minutes left for the alignment. Almost is not good right now. I just turn on some settings. Maybe things like... I don't know. Maybe that. Shouldn't be a problem. Maybe this. Um... Hope that makes a difference. Slightly. Yeah, slight improvement, but not too good. I think it's the upward that's killing it right now. When it's left on the alignment. And we can push back. We can already plan our pushback. Gotta check while we depart them. We depart in three, two, three left, which means we've got ticks to the end of the runway. That looks good. Alright. So we plan with tail right face left. Nose left, not face. Oh, nope. That works. And still got two minutes left on the air's alignment. We were way too fast for the alignment. Like we overtook the alignment like very fast. It's not bad, isn't it? Okay, one minute left. Already disconnect the external power and turn on the beacon lights. We're about to push back any second. I might just turn off HDR real quick. Oh, no, no, I'm not going to turn off HDR. I think that's going to crash this then. Okay, request pushback. We're good Cockpit in time now. Stand by. Oh, I didn't start my well left studio. There it is. Arians, welcome to the stream. Welcome. Just did it's already my second stream of the day. I already did a stream in um on Twitch. So the course of why is my performance that bad? Come on. That is not normal right now. I already turned it down, it's just getting worse. It is literally stream lapse. My stream lapse so bad on performance right now. That is weird. That is very weird. I might have to reconnect my streamlabs real quick. So you guys just have a loading screen for a couple of seconds, but I might have to re uh, re uh, change something right there. So we'll see as in f like... Hopefully that helped. Well, I think it did not. That's just hope for the best. Alright. Hopefully it works now. Just like a little better. That'd be nice. That doesn't really seem any better, does it? Okay, sir. The bypass pin is installed. All doors okay, and we got everything aligned. And we'll just hope for the best. Maybe if we uh, get away from the scenery, set. we'll you get better. Parking brake set. Lifting the aircraft. Looking very nice right now. We are cleared for start and push. Really bad, Jesus. Okay, cleared for push. Oh, brakes disengaged. Parking brakes are released. Commencing pushback. You can start the engine. Sliding engine number two. 
It will start in the sequence. Oops, didn't mean to turn on terrain. Hopefully that reconnect helped. Yeah, this should have helped. Yeah, that's already a little better. It's a little perfect, but better. Well, the camera lights are on, aren't they? Let's turn them off real quick. If I turn off the cabin visibility, is it getting any better? Oh, sad. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. A GPU dying or something. A GPU RAM, like my VRAM, that's really old. For whatever reason. I'm having a lot of problems with since Sim Update 11, to be fair. With performance, I don't know why. Okay, push back complete. Yeah, one break set. set your parking brake. Parking brake set. Parking brake set. Lowering aircraft. There we go. So, we got QNH 1014. Ground. You may disconnect. Set that real quick. Okay, sir. Go. Clear to disconnect. Pin has been removed. See you at the side. Have a good flight. Oh, Holding wait, the position other waiting for the visual. thing is on, on. Thank you and goodbye. Engine. That looks nice. Yeah, I hope that the uh, performance gets better as soon as we're out of here. I mean, that's how it should work. So, yeah, I can only hope. Okay, he's clear. The engines are on. Let's disengage the parking brake. Engine igniter can be turned off. Same for the APU. Text lights on. And we're ready to go. Without rudder pedals as well now, by the way, so it's gonna be a little weird taxing like this. Already set the flaps to one. Beautiful. Let's get a rolling. I think the performance is already getting better just by not looking at the uh, the terminal. I think it's really my VRAM that is just like crying a little right now. Like, slightly. Yeah, I might, get, might need to get a like, 40 series GPU when they uh, you know, get less pricey. Maybe 30 if they are good value. Well, I think the 40 will probably be better value. Forms. Yeah, as soon as we're looking through the terminals, it's getting worse. That's yeah, actually my viewer. I'm just crying for help. Bond is armed. Take off config. It's checked. All green or blue. You believe can we turn off? There we go. Alright, that's already better than before.
I just realized I might have forgotten to update my driver as well. Maybe not. This is a long taxi, by the way. We have to taxi all the way, all the way to the bottom of the runway. The end, not the bottom. But you know, like on a map, it would be probably the bottom. Depends on you know how the map is positioned or orientated. That's what you say. Not positioned. Position will be kind of stupid if it's not on the actual airport. Well, I didn't take a look at how long this flight is. Let me quickly open up Volanta. No, I'm opening the wrong things. There we go. This flight is planned to be one hour and four minutes. Good time. Already getting dark. That's like so weird. I don't like the winter season because of that. I prefer daytime. I mean, to be fair, it looks nice, but like, we'll be flying a lot in the dark because of winter. Which is quite sad because it doesn't look as good. Um, I should be on the Western European servers. We'll take the next uh, runway entrance thing. What is it called? I can't figure the name out right now. What is it called? I forgot the name. Jesus. I'll just take this one. There's a mouse up, welcome to the stream. Get all the sets. Looking good. Hope to turn up the runway turn on lights. Runway turn off, come on. There we go. Turn them off. Okay, looks like the approach is clear. That's bright. Yeah, we're ready to roll. We'll do a rolling takeoff, so we won't stop on the runway. We'll just do a rolling takeoff. Alright, first live stream with a new monitor. Let's see how it goes. I mean, performance is kinda crap because my GP is crying over the scenery, but fair enough. Hey, take out the rails. Reflex. The time is 5 o'clock p.m. Uh, those are FPS on the bottom right. First time set. Are you multiplayer? I should be. I've got one. Turn that on already. Well, it's disarmed. I should be a multiplayer, yeah. Okay, nose lights will be turned off.
this is looking beautiful. Then we can actually get the settings a little higher again. Because, you know, didn't really do a difference, so why should we keep them low? I need to figure something out. Cause that's that's not good. Should be getting better now though, because the memory usage is down a little. Like the GPU memory. Okay, pull standard. Well there we go. I think about it, it might actually be my HDR setting um, that is like killing the home right now. Got an idea. I'll bring the screen back down to 16 by 9 format for you guys. I'll have to watch. Did it even connect? Oh, come on. You just put it down to... okay. okay. So I just had to put it back to 21 by 9. It didn't save. Okay. I don't know why in the world it's not trying to copy right now. Green maps, please. There you go, stream laps, there you go. Alright, see if sounds can be turned off. That's looking better now. Just a little low. Is 
after 70 minutes till descent, I don't trust that. Let me take it real quick. So, we're not even on top of cruise. When is it expecting our top descent? About 150 miles from now. Fair enough. That is in like... Well, to be fair, 18 minutes from now. No, 20. 22 minutes. I'm stupid. 22 minutes from now to the double descent. I really love the white color of the wings. I was afraid that I might have some lags on stream, but apparently I, do. I don't. That's good. Looking very, very, very good right now. I think I actually like the ultra wide streaming. I don't know why. I think I like it. By the way, we're up to 40 to 50 FPS. It was actually the scenery that was killing it. It was the scenery's fault. Too steep path ahead. Why? It's a little bit confusing. Be long. It should be good enough. We'll just do. If we have to do, we'll just do in what manual descent instead of a managed one. Because you know, because the the descent is too steep or the path is too steep, then yeah, we'll just we'll just fix that. We'll descend a little earlier. Although I think the um, like the being too steep of the path is basically just because of some altitude restrictions or some altitudes it wants to get at some waypoints, which it might not be able to do. Um, so we'll just, you know, manage the descent ourselves. Should work, probably. Don't know why it shouldn't. Clouds are looking amazing right now, by the way. It's a short fly. Uh, like, I, I'm so confused how I managed to do this, but like, you know, I wanted to do a fly to Edinburgh, not to get away, like, I don't know how we ended up here. I have really no clue. No flying to get away, apparently. Don't know what happened. I have questions.
I'm going to say in this view for a bit, it looks nice. Alright, let me quickly take a look at the approach that we'll have. Screenshot upload failed. Why is that? Valenta, what are you, do what are you doing? Why is my screenshot upload failing? Had that for the first time. We're just arriving two six left, aren't we? No zero at right. Oh, guess we'll fly around the airport. That's good to know. And there definitely shouldn't be a too st steep path out. So I don't know what he told me. Yeah, FMC is probably being a little weirdo then, because there's definitely no too steep path. I think that's not too steep. I mean, to be fair, going on from three zero one to two four eight is too steep, but. Like, overall, to the airport, the distance is more than fine. Don't know why it's trying to, like, do such a, d like, descent, but fine. We'll just, we'll probably get a dumb spot, to be fair, but don't know what it's doing, or trying to do. I just realized our alternate would be, uh, Paris. Why not Brussels? It seems more like a reasonable alternate on this route, or maybe Heathrow. Just any other airport than Paris because it seems fairly far away. Look at that scenery. This, like, these graphics. The graphics of this game are amazing. What's that street? Oh, that's Netherlands, aren't, isn't it? I've seen that on my approach to Amsterdam before, and I was like, what the hell is that? That's an actual street, apparently. Seems slightly weird. Or, not weird, but unusual. Oops, there we go. There we go. That was awkward. Yeah, I don't know why. But for some reason this stream's sides are cut off on my preview. That makes it look like a perfect 16x1. Say a 16x1. 16x9 live stream. Not sure if that's meant to be like that. I have to figure something out to make it uh, 16x9 because that's just better for streaming. I think I'll find a way. Shouldn't be too hard. I just need to get everything like set in a position for it to be 16 by 9 Because 21 by 9 is good for movies, but not good for uh, live streams. At least not for you guys. But for most of the people, it's not too good. Some people have 21 by 9s like I do, and then it's fairly good, but like for most of them, it's just not good. Well, even on a 21x9, a stream in 16x9 is easier to watch because you can just have the uh, chat on the right side as well, or on the left side. Without having any compromise on the uh, stream size. I don't know why, but I just thought I was muted. I don't know why. It was a weird feeling. Okay, 
1629, so we'll be descending in 13 minutes. 13 minutes from now till descend. right now like the way we're just flying into the sun looks amazing is my description updated not to the newest variant least. Get that fixed real quick. We good now? Charles, welcome to the stream. Wanna become pilot? Nice. No, I'll probably go for the same. had to save the new description version because it was outdated not the newest variant of god should be good now minutes left to descend. We're just two minutes already? I went fast, although we had some technical difficulties, which should be fixed now. Hopefully. I think they're fixed. If not, then uh, that'd be bad. Very cool right now. Beautiful. Probably, oh, that's already set to all, never mind. I was like, we should probably set that to all, but it already is. About 60 nautical miles left till we start the top of this, or just to, to, until we start our descent. Our descent that might apparently be too steep, although it seems like it might actually be too early.
now we're doing the return. That is like, I don't know why that's always a thing when you're flying to the UK from like Germany. This turn is always a thing. So just go on direct. I don't know why they're doing that, but fine. Maybe to keep them in one airspace so they don't have to like, you know, set them around frequencies, but still it seems weird. When they're doing this turn. It's not much either, but like, going direct might save like a mile. Oh, a mile, yeah. That's not too much, is it? But you know, like, every time I'm flying from like, I know, Hamburg, Düsseldorf, like somewhere in Germany to other uh, Gatwick or Heathrow, I have this weird turn all the time. And I don't know why. Maybe there's actually like a reason to it, but I guess I'll never know. I might know at some point, but like, you know, don't know right now. Maybe I'll learn. Although I don't think that there is an actual reason. It must be, to be fair. Although I guess, do you like the format? Like, if I'd be watching the stream on my phone, I would definitely prefer this format, because like, I can use more of the display of my phone. But like, I don't know how that is for you guys. Like, I don't know if you're on PC or phone or something, but like, do you guys like this format, or is it like, not that great for you? Because on Twitch, it works fairly well. Uh, my Twitch stream had like, I think an average of five years or higher than this one, or average of four or something like that. But you know, it worked. I don't know how it works on YouTube though. I mean, to be fair, streaming on Twitch is better. Like, streaming in general is better on Twitch that way around. But like, um, I, I probably prefer to stream flight uh, racing on YouTube as well. I just know that. Racing on YouTube is probably harder to stream or to grow with than on Twitch. Most probably. I'm not gonna say that's definitely the point, but most probably. And I still didn't get any analytics from the last stream. I just clicked something, didn't need to do that. Which partner needs an average of 75 viewers, Jesus. I'm just looking through the Twitch achievements. Um, uh, like there are four that are just called King, uh, kind of a big deal, and they reach from 250,000 hours of watch time to 10 million. 10 million hours. That's a lot. Like that's a lot of watch time. That's probably like, probably things like uh, like or like people like Tw uh, Schlad or all those get on Twitch. Well, not anymore, but like you know, some people. That's probably something Mr. Beast would get within one live stream. I'd like, like to reach some of those goals, I guess. Not even on 30 followers, though, so... We'll far away. Yeah, we are about 20 miles away from descent. 
Oops, there we go. Wow, you can really see those wiper scratches. He does. Well, what is our first ulti that we're going to descend to? Let's say... 1400, yeah. Good. Okay, let's start a descent and get the... Someone's page done. So, no, my flight. Here, arrival. Holding good, it seems so loud for me, I don't know why. Good word, already done to descend. I was very fast. I don't know why, but that was fast. Okay, so yeah, about I check 16 minutes remaining of the flight. Maybe 20 because we're still slowing down, but like, no, that's gonna be the max. About 20 minutes remaining. Hope for a good landing, we'll be able to do that. That's better now. This is looking very, very nice. I like how the sun is slowly setting down the clouds. The thing is now, um, we'll probably land at pure night, like pure darkness. Which I'm not a big fan of. I mean, to be fair, it looks nice, yeah, but like, I'd prefer to fly daytime, but I don't want to fly non-real time. Which is kind of messing me up, I guess, so, gotta land at night. I'm getting hungry right now as well. I think today is a bad day for streaming because, you know, it's Halloween. A lot of people are out, like, doing stuff. Not me.
I should have done something like a special Halloween stream. I'm stupid. You know what? I think we'll do a third stream today. I think we'll do another stream today where we will like, you know, um, do something Halloween related. Because why not? Might do it on Twitch though, because no, why not? Oh, I've got an idea. We should play, um, Pessimophobia tonight. And try to get, like, those Halloween challenges done. I think I haven't done that so far. That'll be interesting. That'll be very, very... I think we're not gonna be able to do that, because... Um, if I would do that, I'd probably have, like, two hours to do that. <laughs> um, that'd be a little... little short. I mean, possible, yeah, but I'm probably not good enough in Phasmo to be able to pull that off. But we'll try, I guess. Which time is the Phasmophobia system time going after? Is it UTC? Is it CEST? Is it... Like, what is that? What is the time? Because that'd be good to know then. Because then I'd know how much time I'd have for that challenge to get it done. YouTube is being weird right now. Weird right now. Like my previous bugging and lagging out. Like a lot. Yeah, it's, we're definitely gonna land at night. There's probably no sun left the moment we're like sunlight left the moment we're touching down. Oh, so suddenly the uh, too steep path I had is not too steep anymore, is it? Dark. It's just a too steep path I had, you're kidding me. It's because the altitude restriction. What, what don't you. Okay, it's the altitude restriction that I didn't like. Fair enough. Didn't say anything. Down to 7000 then. Very nice. I really do like the light right now. And the color of the light. It's looking beautiful. Very cold weather. How many miles are we away? 111 miles and we're that low. Are you kidding me? My movie, <laughs> you just invited me and that was very loud. Uh. Let me... There you go. I can't accept it, it's... I'm clicking accept but not... Uh, accept but nothing is happening. Okay, we have a new top of descent now because of that altitude restriction, are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? That altitude restriction made us descend way too early. Oh, come on. Why did that have to happen? Oh, there's another aircraft passing. Oh, look at that. That memory? Is it just traffic? That was very close. Why did I not hear any TCAS? Interesting. That seemed very close, but alright. That seemed very, very close. Yeah, we're 7,000 feet below our uh, descent path now, because of the flight plan being an ass. Jeez. 
Jesus Christ. Or you can turn on the seatbelt on, because why not? Frick shots it down. Oh, I haven't uh, taken a look at the cabin yet. Looks very, very nice, though. Looks very, very nice. Picture resolution is not bad at all. I'm gonna try to find a new view for this because I know why, but like, I'm turning to buck through the wall. There we go, that's looking a little better. Just happened. Autopilot? What? Why? Did I touch the. Um. Oh, I think I might have pressed that. Fair enough. Okay. It's my fault. Yeah, I might have. Yeah, I think I pressed that. Whoops. Happens. I'm on German keyboard? Oh, I'm set a US keyboard. That is on the other side. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. All these slide wing flex, can you see that? Very slide wing flex. Looking nice. Did they change something about the wing flex on the Phoenix? Because I, like, in my opinion, it does look better than I remember it to look at the release. I'm not sure though, but it just, I think it looks better. I'm not sure if they actually changed something, but it doesn't feel as stiff anymore. Sun is really setting now. You can actually see it set. Like the, you can see the sunlight slowly getting dimmer. I actually, keep witnessing it right now. It's 2,500 feet too high. Yeah, let's go down to 7,000 then. There we go. Back on our descent path. This is looking so good right now. But I'll still figure something out for the um, uh, performance issues that we had at Dusselorf. I mean, we don't have them anymore right now. We're on very good FPS right now, but I just didn't like Dusselorf. I think it's the VRAM. Probably. Oh. Sun is coming through. Fair enough. So, I think we have some problem with the VRAM. Like, either I have not enough VRAM or the scenery was just stupid. I don't know. Might just need a better GPU to be fair. Like one with like 12 gigs of VRAM or something. How much does the RTX 4070 or how much is that gonna have? But that's just like an 8 gigabyte thing as well. And I won't buy it definitely. So I need at least 12 then for the next upgrade. I just closed my stream chat. Wait, let me, let me get back real quick. I don't mean to do that. Yeah, it's gonna have 12 gigs. So, wait, let me get back to the live control room. Come on, YouTube, please load a little faster. There we go. I can see the chat again. Didn't mean to close that. 18,000 feet. About a land. Well, not about to land, but about to approach the runway. It's for you not, not to come out to our right. Yeah, two o'clock. I love those colors. Looks very good right now. But this with HDR looks even better, but the problem is, when I'm turning on HDR, you guys are just gonna get blinded because it's like, over like it looks overexposed if I have HDR on, because I can't, I, as far as I know, I can't stream or live stream in HDR. 
Um, I would do it otherwise, but I think that's not possible, which is kind of sad. Well, that'd be nice. Do like a live stream in HDR. So that would look, make it look a lot nicer. Like, it does already look nice, but it would add even more up to that. I'm getting very hungry right now. I don't know where that's coming from, just like, tell me here. This is looking good. I love the scenery. I haven't played this game in a loop quite some time. Looks beautiful. Yeah, but as I've already said, I need to figure something out for the performance. Um, because I think it might have actually just been the scenery, but that was really bad. That performance, like, I was at 20 FPS barely. It was bad. Can I actually turn the DLSS down now, though? Back to balanced. That's already making a difference in the looks of the game. Let me check the frames. How about 30? Not too great, is it? Well, load them at 30 FPS, so... I mean, that's fine, I guess. But it could be better. Could definitely be better. Wait, did the QNH and everything change? Let me check that real quick. It did. No, that's. Oh, that's. Never mind, that's correct. And 15 degrees, still correct. Alright. Look at that. That is looking very, very cool. Just take a look. You actually can't see that well from that view. beautiful like the city on the bottom left on the coast as well you know, like the city on the coast on there looks so detailed like I'm still not used to seeing like such a sharp 1440p image I'm just not used to it but I think that might actually be the reason why I have like VRM problems or like flat performance issues I think it might just be the new resolution well, to be fair, if I um, was playing on my old 6 9 monitor, um, I didn't have any problems with the performance, even if I put the resolution to 1440p. Um, yeah, I don't know why I have the problem now. So, that's a little weird. But I guess I gotta live with it. Like, most probably. But who knows, maybe I'll be able to obtain a new graphics card next year. Like, end of next year, maybe the year after, even. I don't know. Depends on how much money I can, you know, get from streaming or something. Like, in general. Because graphics cards are just really expensive. I really do like the live right now. Like, the colors and everything looks so... like, it really looks like Dawn.
prefers to flaunt the old livery, by the way. Just saying, I prefer the old livery a lot. Like, over the new one. Or newer one. Okay, let's turn on. Oh, not to create a lot. Um, 1006, yeah. Okay. There we go. There's the upward. You can continue to send aircraft. Oh, slightly below. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, approach mode is set. Approach phase is activated. The approach mode is not set so far. All right, let's bring the burden for the landing. Okay, let's transponder to all. Um, wait, 
and we're not going to turn on those lights just yet, because we're not. But we're still not close to getting our gear done, I guess. Good landing, thank you, very, thank you very much. Should be a good one. I mean, look at the weather, it's very clear, like, at least visibility is very good. So it should be a good one, hopefully. I want to zoom in on that map. Yeah, apparently I can't. There is the outboard. Just gonna do a quick 180 turnaround for the landing. People can already see the airport if they're not sitting directly behind the wing. Should be somewhere behind the wing right now. That's where Gatwick is. In, like, just in case you were wondering, uh, Gatwick is, you know, in. Um, currently not on any uh, network. Uh, but if I do fly on a network, definitely Vatsum because I'm not a big fan of Evaro at all. Um, like, I don't like the ATCs there because, you know, could just be anyone without any experience and like I don't know the, the people there are mostly weird probably shaky isn't it nineteen nautical miles left all right Yeah, there's the airport. Yeah, oh, I forgot to install the scenery. Okay, fair enough. Well, maybe not even too bad if you had issues with the performance on the scenery and... So, Lord, what's my... Okay. I'm gonna question that. About five minutes till touchdown, guys. Five minutes. Maybe six, because we'll still be decelerating. I already put the first stage of laps down. Well, first stage is just slats, so fair enough. This is such a beautiful aircraft. Like, it's so worth the money. Like, it's worth every single cent that you spend on this. All brakes can be set to low as well. Set the runway. Seems like a very short turn in. Um. Yeah, I don't know about that. That's a very short one. All well, five miles. Five mile turn. Jesus. Interesting one. Let's do eject. Oh yeah, there we go. It's a very interesting turn in. You're down, wind gust, flaps three. Might just already take over. This seems like a weird turn in. Flaps full. Let's reject. Alright, so already fly manual. Yeah, checked. Gears down to green. What is going on? We have 30 knots of wind right now. 30 knots crosswind. Let's pull us armed. Jesus. That is some crosswind. The time is 6 o'clock p.m. 34 knots. I can't believe it. 
What is that approach? What is it trying to do with me? Yeah, I'm gonna just not follow the navigation line now. I'm just follow the ILS line. So I definitely trust that a little more when it comes to aligning with the runway. One thousand. Yeah, still nearly 30 knots. 28. Oh, the ones are really settling the lower you get, okay. This is a weird approach. Five hundred. Lowest. What do you mean ground spot is not armed? Of course they are. The windy approach, Jesus. Hundred above. Checked. Minimum. Continue. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Retard. Ten. Five. Yep, touchdown. Rose is green. That was an interesting one. That was very interesting. It's not when you're breaking. Rest is off. Wasn't the greatest landing, but it was fine. I've seen worse landings in those conditions. Seems fine. Okay, yeah, let's settle here real quick. The if you turn on. Let's turn off. There we go. You starting. Bolt set. Turn that off. And of mine, it doesn't like it. There we go. Everything is set now, and now we can take it to the gate. Yeah, I forgot to install scenery, it looks horrible. Seeing that wig without scenery is weird. I just completely forgot to install it. That was a fairy lining, I guess. I mean, not the nicest one, of course, but... Definitely have seen worse. In 220 feet per minute is not that bad, is it? It's like it's so late already, it's just 6 p.m., Jesus. Let's just go to the gate on our right side. Then we'll be fine. Or actually a stand, not a gate. We're gonna get a stand here. Oh, I just slowed down a little too much, didn't I? 
Let's take this down. There we go. Why is the pixel on angle like that? I have no clue. Let's just not think about it and just do it. I'll grab all the lights, isn't it? There we go. Fair enough. It's fairly straight, I guess. Okay, pump ready set. APU is on. We can turn off the engines. And get the ground services. So, GP and shocks, the board. Or nav stairs. There we go. We're not gonna open that yet. Yeah, we shouldn't have the doors open right now because, you know, engines are still slightly running. There we go. Welcome to Gatwick, everyone. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the flight. I definitely did enjoy the flight. Um, we'll do another stream tomorrow. Um, we, uh, like, definitely some racing stream. Probably, maybe also flight sim, I'm not sure. No, actually, to be fair, no, I can't do two streams tomorrow. So I'll do either racing or flight simming tomorrow. If I do racing, it will be on Twitch. If I do flight sim, it will be on YouTube. We'll see us tomorrow, guys. Thank you all very much for joining into this flight, and have a great rest of your day.